This is the croak from Fuzz Roche's pedals. And it's an expressive double filter fuzz that has so many just insane out there and crazy tones that are ready to be unleashed for your creativity. And it's something that's truly out there and man, is it awesome. Before we get started, I wanna say thank you to Fuzz Roche's Pedals for sending this over for me to try out. While I am being compensated for this video, it doesn't reflect any of my opinions at all. And everything I'm gonna say is just how I feel about it. And also a huge thanks to my Patreon supporters as well. If you wanna help support the channel and be included in giveaways, early access to videos, and more, head over to my Patreon page. But let's get straight into it. So this is the croak and it is wild. So you essentially have a fuzz pedal with two filters going after it in the chain that just lead to some insane different tones. And some of them are really just out there and something that's beautiful and very creative to work with. And some of them just don't work at all for me personally. Starting with the controls, you have four knobs. You have pre, filter one, filter two, and volume. Pre controls the amount of fuzz that you're pushing into your filters and really the overall sound will be changed dramatically by how much gain you're gonna put into it. Filter one controls the sweep of that first filter that your fuzz is going into. And that can go from a really wide, just gulped up sound and then go all the way to a very high peaked grind. Filter two controls the sweep of that second filter and this is an envelope filter. When you go clockwise on it, it really opens up and has a more vocal quality. And with the more volume that you have from the pregame, that first knob that you have, it opens up the envelope faster. And finally with volume, this course changes the output level of the pedal. Under your four knobs, you have a two-way toggle switch that simply turns that first filter on and off. So what this means is you have two completely separate ways to play around with this pedal. One, you can go from pre to filter one to filter two, or if you turn off the first filter, your pre will just go straight into filter two and then output from there. Going down, you have two foot switches. Your right one is your bypass on and off, and then your left one is a momentary switch that changes the range of the envelope filter. And then my personal favorite feature of this pedal is that there's an expression pedal out. And this is where you have control of the pregain, and you can really turn this pedal into a really thick, fuzzy wah of sorts. And it can get really weird and really out there, especially because you can get kind of a faux synthesizer sound to it, but think of a faux synthesizer with a wah at the same time for some just really wild tones. Depending on the controls and the different ways that you use it, the filters can act very slow and very overall broad and open, or it can be super quick to the punch like a frog catching a fly. See what I did there?
So with the ability to change the sweep of two filters and even take out that first filter, this leads to a lot of different landscapes for tone sculpting, and it makes for a lot of fun. It is very determined on what bass that you're throwing into it, whether it's active or passive. It can really truly change the overall sound that you're getting out of the full pedal. So overall with a croak, it is just wild. There are so many very useful tones and just insanely creative soundscapes to have with this pedal. But I can also see how some people might be intimidated by the pedal at first because there is a bit of a learning curve and some definite sweet spots to it as well. If you're not careful, it can get very brittle and if your treble's too high, it can really just have that just nasty brittle sound to it but you know how to control it after playing around with it for a while and playing around with it with different bases too. It can really lead to a lot of just really fun sounds. And that's what I really love about Fuzz Rocious. I think I say this for every video that I do over Fuzz Rocious, whatever pedal it is, but man, it's just so unique, so weird, so out there, and so unapologetically itself. Especially with the croak, it's weird, and it doesn't apologize for that either, and I love that. It's something where it's like, you know what, I want a fuzz to throw into a filter, to throw into an envelope filter on top of that. Let's kind of turn it into a wall, why not? And it just makes for so much fun and so much experimentation too. But let me know what you guys thought about the croak and what cool sounds you think you can make with it. Thank you so much for watching as always. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe for everything bass related. And a huge thanks to my Patreon subscribers right here for helping support the channel. If you wanna help support the channel as well, head over to my Patreon page for things like early access to videos, giveaways, and more. But thank y'all so much for watching as always, and I'll see y'all next time.